trophies. All of these guys are hoping they're going to get their hands on Ladies at the end of this event. The next two contestants. Martin Muir of Germany, Phil Fister of the United States. And I think there's almost as many nerves around at this stage of the competition as there was on the very first event. We've had some tremendous finishes over the years to World's Strongest Man, and this is another. Get ready on the whistle. Here we go. It's all come down to this for the places and for the championship as well. Two good runners, these guys. 95 kilograms on top of the highest part of that wall. Phil Fister, look at the strength. And Martin Muir is absolutely flying here. Number two, the third one, 130 kilos. That weighs as much as he does. And he's made it look like a featherweight. Phil Fister as well, although the German is a little quicker over the ground. And in fact, Fister gets that one up even quicker. 135 kilos, that is over 20 stones. Now, can he do number five? This is always the biggest test for any strongman, this massive stone of 165 kilos. Oh, this has dropped it. He almost put it on his foot, and Moore is just centimeters away. He's done it. The Lighter Man has done it. That is a phenomenal piece of strength. There go the splits as well. What a competitor. Fister still going. He's not run out of time, but I think he's run out of strength and energy. It is the end for both of them. And Muir finished with a flourish. Sven Carlson. I think one day he might be champion, but I don't think it's going to be this year. On the left, Pudzianowski, his debut in World's Strongest Man. Good target by Moore, the German, 54.2. Right, but Sven Carlsen standing next to Pudzianowski set a new world record Get in the heats ready. of just over 33 On seconds. Off we go. Oh, Carlsen struggling a little bit on the first one, sprinting into the wall, both guys. It's neck and neck. Now Carson gets into his stride. Up it goes. Pudzianowski just a fraction behind. This is very fast from the Norwegian. Pudzianowski is going to be one of the great competitors of the future, that's for sure. Carson is on number five already. Unbelievable. And he's not even at 30 seconds. He's done it. Just outside 30 seconds, 30.7. I'm not sure anybody can beat that. Can Pudzianowski do five? Come on! The crowd roaring him on. He's got plenty of time to do it. Marius has done it. That is superb. Carlsen jumping for joy in the background. What a finish by the Norwegian. Tremendous performances from both men. You were, you were like a man on fire there, Sven. Yeah. Slipped the first one bit a little bit, but... I hold it together. Do you think it's possible so, to do that in under 30 seconds? If you do that, he really deserves the second place. What more can I say? In a few moments' time, we will know who is this year's world's strongest man. Magnus Samuelsson, the former champion, on the right-hand side. Jani Vertanen, on the, the left, champion Magnus elect Samuelson, Sweden. from Finland, in the blue shirt. And if Jani Vertanen is to lift the title, the these right, will be Jani moments Vertanen, he will Finland. never, ever forget. Second last year, and the possibility of coming on number whistle. one in the year 2000. Here we go. Scandinavia have always competed well in World's Strongest Man. And remember that Finland have done it twice in the last three years through Yuko Ahola. Are they going to do it again? Samuelsson is struggling. It's up safely now. Vertanen is flying. That time of 30.7 seconds by Carlsen is safe, I think. He's on number four. This surely, if he can get number five up, will be the title for Jani Vertanen. And he's done it. Jani Vertanen is the world's strongest man. Absolutely superb. Samuelson walks away dejected. His turn will come again, surely, 
but a new man has arrived in the world of strength, second last year, but this time he is definitely, very definitely the champion. So consistent so, and, and at times absolutely brilliant and unbeatable. Strongest man for the year 2000. Yanni Vartanen has done it. He is the champion. He's still a young man, so he may be around for many, many years to come. After a shaky start, the Finn has won it convincingly. Very much so. I'm very happy. This means a lot to me, and I hope that now things will slide more easily. Second. Yes. Happy? Yeah. Actually, this was my goal this year. I haven't told anybody, but I need a collection of perfect metric statues. So it wouldn't be right in my collection to have a bronze one and then a gold one and then a silver one. So I need to have one in bronze from 99. The 2000 must be silver and the next year must be the gold. We, we do this sport because we're enjoying it and because we love to train. And as long as you prepare to pay the price in the gym to win, as long as I, uh, I can pay that price, I will be back. And uh, that goes more and more hand in hand with as long as you're enjoying it. And at the time I'm really enjoying it. Training is great. Power is, I become stronger and bigger every day and uh, I will be back stronger than ever next year. Magnus Samuelsson came forward to receive the bronze statuette for third place from Yuko Ahala, twice the world champion himself. But he'll be back, as will Sven Carlsen of Norway, third last year, second this. Will he get a full set of statuettes next year? And don't bet against it, because three years ago, he was Careful. actually leading in the final of World's Strongest Man don't break it when he was bedeviled by injury. But is this man going to dominate strongman sport for the foreseeable future? Runner-up last year and an emphatic winner this year of the Metrex Trophy, Jani Wirtman of Finland, a giant man who threatens to cast a giant shadow over the entire sport for many years to come.